Diabetes is a chronic disease affecting millions of people worldwide and impacts their overall well-being, including their heart, kidney, and nerves. People who live with diabetes should follow diet requirements to maintain their health, but these requirements often don't pay attention to the need for specific vitamins and minerals. Vitamins, minerals, and supplements benefit everyone, but your health is at risk if you're living with diabetes and don't eat a balanced diet, including fish, meat, and vegetables. Join us today as we discuss the best vitamins and minerals for diabetes. Let's get started. Diabetes is a group of diseases that affect how your body reacts to blood sugar, also known as glucose. Glucose is the brain's primary energy source and is vital for cellular activity. Insulin, a hormone made by our pancreas, allows the glucose in our blood to enter our cells and gives energy to our bodies. Diabetes occurs when your body can't produce insulin or its insulin is inadequate. There are two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is one that anyone at any age can develop. Your body cannot make insulin or it makes very little of it. And type 2 is where your body isn't able to regulate and use glucose as energy. This condition will lead to too much sugar circulating in your bloodstream. Both conditions are equally severe. However, there are ways you can maintain your glucose and insulin levels. Follow a strict diet and exercise regularly to maintain glucose and insulin levels. You can also benefit from specific vitamins and minerals to avoid severe and long-lasting health complications. Starting with vitamin D. One of the most critical vitamins for diabetes that improves your body's insulin sensitivity is vitamin D. Having the required amount of vitamin D helps maintain the sugar levels in your body. According to a study, vitamin D deficiencies relate to the development of diabetes. Another study shows that low levels of vitamin D in those with diabetes can put patients at risk of severe health complications and even death. People generally associate vitamin D with strong and healthy bones. It not only maintains your physical health, but is also psychological. The best and cheapest source of vitamin D is direct exposure to sunlight. When your vitamin D levels drop or don't get absorbed, supplements are recommended. Taking vitamin D supplements maintains your blood sugar level if you are deficient. Apart from this, you can get vitamin D from foods and natural sources such as fortified foods and fish. Next on our list is vitamin B1. Another essential vitamin for maintaining blood sugar levels is vitamin B1 or thiamine. People with type 1 or type 2 diabetes are likely to have lower blood levels of thiamine and are usually at risk of thiamine deficiency than people who do not have diabetes. Imbalanced blood sugar levels can cause neuropathy, otherwise known as nerve damage, and vitamin B1 effectively reduces diabetic neuropathy pain, making it essential to maintain your thiamine levels. Thiamine regulates multiple body functions while keeping your blood sugar levels in check. A much needed amount of thiamine also plays a significant role in keeping your body safe from cardiovascular disorders. When you learn that you're vitamin B1 deficient, start considering supplements. Yes, dietary intake cannot beat the worth of having an extra dose, but B1 supplements normalize thiamine levels in red blood cells quickly. Apart from supplements, natural sources of thiamine are eggs, pork, beef, nuts, oranges, potatoes, whole grains, legumes, cauliflower, kale, and asparagus. Start adding more vitamin E to your diet. Vitamin E is beneficial in maintaining glucose levels. It effectively improves insulin activity in your body, oxygenates blood and tissues, and fights toxins. If your body has a low amount of vitamin E, your internal structure will risk getting damaged due to more free radical activity. If you already have diabetes, increasing your vitamin E intake will enhance glucose tolerance in your body. Also, its antioxidant properties prevent your cells from getting damaged and protect you from premature aging. Vitamin E is more worthwhile when consumed through food rather than supplements. Rich sources of vitamin E are avocado, almonds, nut butter, sunflower seeds, salmon, and hazelnuts. Also, if you're taking vitamin E supplements, ensure the product you use is not high in a chemical compound called tocopherol, as too much of it can be risky for your health. Moving along, vitamin B12 is necessary. Vitamin B12 is another crucial vitamin that is essential in treating diabetes. It is vital for correctly functioning nerve cells and keeps your nervous system healthy. Studies show that a lack of vitamin B12 leads to neuropathy pain, a primary diabetic complication. It also means that people with diabetes might have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Watch for what diabetic drugs you use as studies have shown that long-term use of the diabetes drug metformin can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. 
Get this, vitamin B12 is essential for red blood cells and brain functions. Diabetic patients with nerve damage have more severe symptoms because of deficiency, leading to memory loss. Good sources of vitamin B12 are milk, fish, eggs, and meat products. Have you ever heard of alpha-leolenic acid? Also known as ALA, this acid is a similar substance to a vitamin. It's an antioxidant and protects against cell damage caused by free radicals. ALA is generally found in spinach, broccoli, liver, and potatoes. People with type 2 diabetes often take ALA supplements to help their bodies use insulin more efficiently. ALA is also used to prevent or treat diabetic neuropathy. A study found various therapeutic benefits in diabetes treatment. However, more research is still needed because, in some cases, ALA can lower the blood sugar level too much. So if you take this supplement, monitor your blood sugar carefully. Now, let's talk about some minerals. Starting with magnesium. Along with vitamins, minerals help in regulating the body's metabolism. One such essential mineral is magnesium, which plays its role in more than 300 processes. Magnesium manages blood sugar levels along with energy storage. People don't pay much attention to magnesium intake, and many suffer from magnesium deficiency. One of the main functions of magnesium is insulin and glucose metabolism. So if you experience an imbalanced glucose level, it may be due to a lack of magnesium. Magnesium controls cardiac function, blood pressure, neuromuscular communication, and muscle contractions. And deficiency can lead to many chronic diseases like insulin resistance, diabetes type 2, migraines, and Alzheimer's. To avoid diabetes and insulin resistance, you should have magnesium-rich foods. Healthy sources are bananas, pumpkin seeds, spinach, avocado, dark chocolate, and almonds. Chromium. Chromium is a crucial nutrient in the body's fight against diabetes. Pre-diabetic women and women with gastrointestinal diabetes benefit from adding chromium to their diet. If you have diabetes, you can improve your glucose tolerance with brewer's yeast. Brewer's yeast has been used as a nutritional supplement for years, but it's better known for making beer. It's derived from a single-celled fungus called Saccharomyces, and it lowers fasting glucose levels, cuts cholesterol, and decreases insulin levels. If you're looking for natural ways of consuming chromium, eat more meat, fruits, fish, rye bread, and vegetables. It is advisable to only take chromium after consulting with your doctor because if taken frequently, it may cause a few side effects on the kidneys. Exercise also increases the concentration of tissue chromium. And last but not least, zinc. It's said that zinc deficiency contributes to the development of diabetes. This makes sense, as zinc is a crucial element in insulin metabolism. Known as a powerful guardian against viral infections, it also may work to protect beta cells from damage. Type 1 diabetics, more than not, are often zinc deficient. Zinc supplements lower blood sugar levels, so make sure you get enough of it from sources like beans, nuts, lobster, whole grains, crab, breakfast cereals, and dairy products. We've covered some of the best vitamins and minerals for diabetes, but at the end of the day, be sure to talk to your doctor before making changes to your diet. Are you diabetic or just want to learn more about diabetes? Watch nine fruits you should be eating and eight you shouldn't if you're diabetic. Or eight signs you didn't know could mean you're diabetic. Click one, or why not both and keep the conversation going? Did you know about these vitamins and minerals before this video? Let us know in the comments below.